Hey Taurus, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Taurus. What is going on with Taurus at this very moment in time? You could have recently brought one of those um, Zen gardens with the sand and the rock in the middle. I know they have the miniature ones at five and below. You could have recently uh, started painting. Cause I just, I looked over at this painting I just did. And then I looked over at this, uh, at the rock with the, um, the sticky note here. And it looked like one of those Zen gardens. So you could be up to those hobbies right now. Okay, we have Ferret Observant. And I saw them looking through a window, but now it kind of looks like a mirror. Okay, Stag Premonition, Fly, just ease, and overall is Goat Potency. Okay. I saw this card while I was shuffling for you. I think I always get this for you, Taurus. Anything with the antlers. But with fly disease, of course, some of you are up for a promotion at work. You're being observed. You work very hard on a, and it's consistent. So your consistency and diligence is noticed. I'm, I'm noticing that it doesn't stress you out either. They're working, they're watching to see if you get stressed out or worn down. You don't though. I'm seeing this as work, but put it where it goes for you. Someone's watching to see if you get worn out by the work you do. They know that you work consistently. They know that you do very good work, but they're, work, they're trying to see if you get worn down. Let's get into the tarot and see who this is and why. For Taurus. If you are getting worn down, you should take up painting or getting a Zen garden. Or you may have one in your office. Okay. Let me give you one more shuffle because that was a mess. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so it is work. Someone's observing you at work. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so you may do yoga. I don't know why that, like, you're really getting into the spiritual meditation and all those things. You could be very flexible. That could be metaphoric as well. Uh, Page of Swords. Of course, that comes out. Spine. Two of Swords. Overall energy is the Nine of Wands. Okay. So you're working very hard for a promotion or if it's not a promotion at work, of course, it's a pay raise or you're just trying to elevate your financial status and you are going to do it. Okay. With fly dis-ease, I feel like you may be getting to the point of stress or burnout, but you don't want to stop though. So you're trying to, um, you're trying to keep up the momentum and you're trying to figure out how to do that. If you don't want to get a Zen garden, if you don't want to paint, you could take up swimming or anything that's therapeutic for you. Some of you it may be yoga. Some of you may be gardening, reading, whatever it is. You need an outlet or something to de-stress so that you can keep going. Clarify this message for Taurus. Again, I'm seeing this as work. Clarify this for Taurus. I mean, everything's looking good for you. <laughs> so clarifying the Eight of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles. There you are. Yeah, you're working hard. And the Judgment card. I don't know why I wanted to say you're working hard or hardly working. <laughs> of course you're working hard. That would be insulting to say, are you hardly working? Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune is the Four of Pentacles. See, I, I felt that you're apprehensive about the promotion, though. Why? 
only reason I could think of that you would be apprehensive is because of the workload. You're afraid because you're already working hard to get the promotion. But when you finally get it, you're going to be apprehensive about it because you're afraid that your workload will increase. I don't think so though. I think you'll be getting paid more for the work that you're already doing. I think you'll actually be able to work a little less, but get paid more. But yeah, you're, I think you're afraid because you think your workload is going to increase. Seven of Swords, okay. Yeah, you feel like, for some reason, you feel like it's a trap. Yeah, lying, lying cheating, stealing, Seven of Swords. I'm seeing this as work again, put it where it goes for you. But with the Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, stealing, Four of Pentacles, you feel like this is a trap. You, you feel like you're working hard and getting nowhere with the false promise of a promotion, or you feel like this promotion is a trap more work for unequal or lesser pay or just not enough you feel like it's just not adding up for you or you just feel stuck in this loop in this cycle so you kind of want to pull back you just don't trust your job for some reason clarifying the page of swords is a seven of cups yeah what's going on queen of wands okay this is what's going on so it, I feel like this could be um, a fire sign at your office, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very uh, physically attractive person, but very manipulative. So work, you're doing gr uh, great at work. So either this person, you think this person is going to cheat their way into the promotion, even though you've been working hard for it, you think they're going to get it for in a very um, nefarious way or but what I'm really getting this person is just trying to get you to engage in like sex with them pretty much or an affair of some kind but you're holding back from them this is probably someone you've already dealt with before they're very manipulative I don't know if they've messaged you yet but they are watching you and you're holding back from this cycle and they know it so they're planning plotting and calculating on you they're just watching you from afar and they're trying to plan on like they're gonna try to pounce on you eventually <laughs> they're trying to see how long you can go without them clarifying the uh two of swords the ten of cups yeah but you're happy to be away okay the lovers gemini overall energy is the king of cups okay so you put all your energy into work or you're just you're just focused on work just period you're just focused on that right now you've pulled your energy away from this person also the wheel of fortune is aquarius scorpio leo taurus yeah you've, you're either saving all your money up pulled away from this person or both also keep your finances to yourself yeah don't give this person money like save it up keep it to yourself unless this person know about it I don't see why you would, but yeah, keep it to yourself. But I feel like this person is very manipulative. They may be the type for some of you to make different accounts and uh, try to catfish you, pretending to be multiple different people reaching out to you. This person may have a family already, or maybe you have you share a family together, maybe you have kids together. But I feel like yeah, with fly this ease, you've separated from this person. I feel like this person may have a, a relationship and they're trying to cheat on their person with you. Or they know that you're in a relationship and, again, they're trying to cheat with you. Oof. I just get, like, a bunch of toxic nastiness from this person. And you're not even engaging in it. You want to be left alone. Ew, I'm sorry, y'all. I just guess this is such a yucky energy. Such a yucky strategy as well. I feel like one of you, I feel like either you're in a happy relationship and this person's trying to destroy it, or they're with someone who loves them, but they're they're a cheater. Yeah, right. The center here is just nasty. Four of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups with the Queen of Wands. This person's nasty. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down. This person is nasty. <laughs> and I just feel like 
this just the type of person they are is nasty i don't even know like outside of them trying to cheat or being a cheater i don't know what else they do but they just get off of, uh, a slimy you don't want someone slimy with the way they act besides like outside of what they do they just like when they come around they just have a nasty conniving slimy energy to them I feel like, ugh. Yeah, because with that Ten of Cups and the Lovers, it seems like a happy connection, right? But you know it's not real or it's false or they have that or you have that. And they want to destroy it. They want to, like, I don't know. I feel like if anything, this person's keeping you from your Ten of Cups if you allow them. But I don't see you doing that. I just feel like they're annoying to you. And you just, yeah, nine of wands. You're trying to get away from them. And right behind that is the seven of swords. I was like, okay, so this could have been a relationship you're getting away from. Yeah, with the star, you're, you're getting the hell away from this person. And they, they're, they look crazy. Okay, they look cray cray. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.